holidays, everyone. Welcome to a very special Christmas episode of the Celebrity World Championship. I'm Tom Lively, here with my always entertaining co-host, JB Smoove. How has your Christmas been going so far, JB? Oh, you know we're getting lit at my crib, Tom. I've been decking the halls, jingling those bells and shit. I even tried my hand at baking some gingerbread cookies. Tasted like ass, but I'll eat just about anything. It sounds to me like you're really getting into the holiday spirit. Hell yeah, I am. But I gotta say, I'm just as excited about the tournament as I am about the holidays. Those duels have been off the charts, and this Christmas special is going to be just as exciting for the folks at home. Well said, my friend. The first round of the tournament has been nothing short of a spectacle between the drama, the strategies, and the surprising comebacks. It's been a thrilling ride for all our viewers and us. And you know what, Tom? We've got a little Christmas surprise for everyone watching today, don't we? Indeed. Let's welcome our first special guest for today's Christmas episode. Say hi to Kermit the Frog, everyone. Hi-ho, Tom and JB. Merry Christmas. It's great to be here and see everyone in such high spirits. Welcome to the show, my brother. I'm sure our viewers at home weren't expecting you of all people to show up to this thing. I'll bet. I've been a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! since the days of Battle City watching Yu-Gi and Kaiba go at it. You can tell how excited I am by the color of my skin. Ha <laughs> ha! I see you've got jokes, my man. That's not all I've got, JB but I'll leave that to your imagination. Well, regardless, thank you for taking the time to join us on this special Christmas episode, Kermit. Anytime, Tom. So what's the agenda for today's riveting show? I'm glad you asked. Our first segment will be all about diving into the viewers' comments regarding the tournament. We've received a ton of feedback and some really interesting points of view. Kermit, would you do the honors of reading some of these comments? Absolutely, Tom. Let's see what the fans have to say. Yet IJBDOG9 says, dumb question, but is there actually going to be a loser's bracket? In the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! and comedy, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Just dumb answers. So you better not screw this up, Tom. I'll certainly try my best. As for the question, I've been informed by the tournament committee that there will indeed be a loser's bracket. The details are still being ironed out, but it's going to give a second chance to some of our celebrity duelists. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Gives everyone a chance to shine, even if they stumbled in their first duel. It's like getting a second helping of a Christmas dinner. You know you shouldn't, but you're so glad you can. An astute comparison, JB. Let us proceed with the second question, Kermit. You got it, Tom. At Samp.1356 says, why can't we see the cards in their hands? Another good question. From a technical standpoint, the committee decided to hide the cards in the player's hands on the screen to prevent any form of cheating. This way, the other players can't gain an unfair advantage by knowing what's in their opponent's hand. On some real shit, though, they hide them because they don't want y'all to call them out even more in the comments about why he or she didn't play this card or that card. I don't... I don't think you were supposed to say that out loud, JB. Hey, I'm just keeping it real. The viewers probably guessed it too, right, Tom? Uh, well, why don't we just transition into the next comment? Kermit? Already ahead of you. At Corey Armstrong 3365 says, How in the world is Gordon Ramsay's deck not the Hungry Burger archetype? The entire deck is built around recipes and food, so it's perfect. Not this shit again. This must be like the 10 millionth time someone's asked about that. To be honest, even I'm curious about why he didn't use them. Well, you won't be for long because I'm putting it to bed once and for all. According to the tournament committee, the Nouvelle archetype, which would be perfect for Gordon Ramsay, was released in Master Duel after the recordings for his duel had already been made. So naturally, he couldn't use them at the time. That makes sense. But hey, maybe in the loser's bracket, Gordon will have a chance to use this Nouvelle archetype. It would be interesting to see a deck like that in action. I'd definitely pay to see that shit. You and me both, JB. Now, before we wrap up our Q&A segment, I think it's time to bring out our second special guest of the night to read our last question. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give a warm welcome to the one, the only, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho! I'm positively delighted to be here, Tom. And Merry Christmas to everyone watching at home. Welcome to the Celebrity World Championship, Santa. With how busy you are during the holidays, though, I'm honestly surprised you showed up. I'm not. It don't matter if you're Santa, the Grinch, or the goddamn Easter Bunny. No one can resist the smell of Yu-Gi-Oh, am I right? You nailed it, JB. Even Santa needs a break from making toys. And what better way than this thrilling tournament that's captivated the hearts of the world? That's great to hear, Santa. So, would you do the honors and read our last viewer question for tonight? I'd be honored to. At James Hoyt 8691 says, Who was supposed to duel, Ben? Ben? 
Who's been in the tournament? Don't tell me you already forgot about Benny Boy. Oh, yeah, I'll be honest, I literally forgot about him. As did I. Y'all are terrible. I'd have to agree, but regardless, that's another question that's been on everyone's minds. Well, don't keep us waiting then, Tom. Fill us in. Yes, who was it? The suspense is making my beard just tingle in excitement. Yeah, man, get to it. I certainly shall. The duelist originally scheduled to duel against Ben Shapiro was... <laughs> What the hell's going on back there? It doesn't sound too friendly. Uh, hold on, folks, as we get this matter sorted out. Security, what's happening back there? <laughs> was... was that Patrick Starr? Unfortunately, we hooked him up with the security job last week. Y'all need better security up in here. What the fuck? Oh, my! Holy crap! I... I can't believe it. Is that really you, Mike? In the flesh, baby. Not that I'm not happy to see another brother here, Mike, but what's up? Why'd you bust in here like that? Why don't you ask your boyfriend Tommy over there? Excuse me? What he means to say is that, well, he was actually the one who was originally scheduled to duel Ben Shapiro. Now that would have been a crazy matchup. Indeed. But where have you been, Mike? We lost contact with you after Ultron took over the broadcast. All I remember was getting ready for the duel. Then next thing I know, I wake up outside this studio a day later. I find out I've been replaced by that fucking robot. That shit ain't right. I want another shot at the Celebrity World Championship or else. Or else what? Or else I'm gonna turn you inside out and make you into the world's first frog puppet that can rib it backwards. Oh my god. Now, now, Mike. There's no need for such barbaric violence here. Don't even get me started on what I'm about to do to you, fat ass. I beg your pardon? I remember all those late nights on Christmas Eve waiting for my presents, but all you ever fucking gave me was cold. That couldn't be helped, Mike. You were on the naughty list for quite some time. I don't give a shit about no fucking list. Give me my fucking presents before I make you deep throat your beard after I tear it off. Oh, okay, Mike, there's no need for all of that. I'm sure we can resolve both your problems in a civil manner. Sounds to me like there's only one way to fix this problem, and it rhymes with Fujio. A brilliant suggestion as always, JB. That sounds like a wonderful idea. What do you say, Mike? If you can defeat me in a duel, I'll gladly give you the presents you missed out on. But what about my spot in the tournament? I've just received word from the tournament committee that they're willing to give you a second chance if you can defeat Santa in a duel. Consider it done. You're going down, big boy. We'll just see about that. Well, there you have it, folks. Once again, we've taken a strange turn in the Celebrity World Championship by an unexpected visitor. Quit playing, Tom. You know you love it. That I do. In today's Christmas special, we have the former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson taking on the holiday icon himself, Santa Claus. Strap in, folks, and get ready for a festive duel that's sure to ignite your holiday spirit. Now then, are both contestants ready to begin? As ready as my reindeer sleigh. Yeah, I'm ready over here too. Then without further ado, it's time to duel. Duel. All right, Santa, what do you want me to write on your grave after I'm done messing you up? My, my. You certainly are quite confident in your dueling skills, Mike. Just remember that overconfidence was your downfall in Tokyo against Buster Douglas. Let's hope history doesn't repeat itself. That was a fluke, Santa, and you know it. I've learned my lessons. This time, it's all about precision and power. You'll be seeing stars and not the kind you put on top of Christmas trees. Oh, I've seen many stars in my time, Mike. Some twinkle, some fall. Let's just hope for your sake you're not the latter. Your fancy words ain't gonna help you in the ring, Santa, cause I'm gonna be your blizzard, coming at you like the fast and the furious. So go ahead and take your first turn. Oh, no, no. By all means, feel free to make the first move. I am the challenger after all, so it's only right. Nice try, Santa, but I'm all about the surprise attack. I insist, you go first. Generosity is my nature, Mike. I always give first. So please, I insist, demonstrate that legendary Tyson uppercut. I'm quite curious to see it up close. Oh, trust me, you're gonna see it real soon. But in the spirit of giving, I'm letting you have the first strike, so take it. What a kind soul you are, Mike. But in the spirit of the season, it's better to give than to receive. So don't mind me, the first move is all yours. Okay, you're really starting to piss me off now, Santa. Take the first fucking move before I get angry. Oh, um, uh, all right then, I'd be happy to. Let us begin the festivities as I activate the spell card, Moray of Greed. 
With this jolly card, I can now shuffle two water monsters from my hand back into my deck and then draw three cards. Knowing how quick-tempered Mike is, I'm guessing his deck is just the same, so he'll definitely be coming in strong next turn. I'll use his strength to my advantage, like using the Winter Wind to guide my sleigh. I'll set this monster face down onto the field and wrap up my turn, like how my elves wrap up our presents. I draw. You ain't the only one who can search for cards, Santa, because I'm activating Pot of Duality. And with this card, I can look at the next three cards of my deck and grab one to my hand. Now I'm summoning my Battling Box of Shadow in attack mode. Time to box. Get ready for the left hook as my Boxing Shadow attacks your face down. Shit. Well, it seems there are things even your left hook can't penetrate, eh, Mike? You got lucky, bitch. Perhaps. But your luck seems to have run out since Snowman Eater's flip effect activates, allowing me to destroy your monster. You're gonna pay for that one, Santa. I'ma drop this face down on the field and end my turn. It's my draw. You better think twice about attacking me, Santa, cause my face down could be anything. Ho <laughs> ho you can't fool me, Mike. You're not the type of man who likes to play defensive, and I'll prove it by activating Medallion of the Ice Barrier. And with it, I can retrieve an Ice Barrier monster to my hand. I'll now summon Samurai of the Ice Barrier and proceed to battle. Now my Samurai attacks you directly. Damn, you saw through my bluff. Sorry, Mike, but you can't hide anything from the spirit of Christmas. We'll just see about that. Get, Get your, your shit, shit together, together Mike. Mike. You, can't you can't let this, this punk ruin, ruin your second chance at winning the tournament. the tournament. The kitty gloves are coming off now, Santa, as I summon Battling Box of Sparrow. And since I control a fire warrior monster, I can special summon Infernoble Knight, Reno. And with its special ability, I can bring back my boxing shadow to my hand. Now I got a surprise for your ass, Santa, as I tune my knight with my spiral. I synchro summon Infernoble Knight Captain Roland. What? But I thought you were sticking to the theme of using only boxing monsters. Well, you know what they say, Santa. Sometimes you gotta throw your enemies a curveball to throw them off their game. And my theme ain't just boxing. It's the fiery passion of my soul. And my Infernables got that shit in spades. Now hit him with a left, Captain Roland. That'll be all for now. But before you go, Roland's special ability during the end phase lets me send an equip spell to the grave in order to grab a warrior monster from my deck. I draw. This, this isn't good. good. If, if I'm, I'm going, going to win this duel, duel I'll, I'll need the help of my most cherished companion. companion. But, but it, it doesn't, doesn't look like I'll draw him anytime soon. soon. Wait, Wait a moment. moment. Instead, Instead of relying on luck, luck. why don't, don't I let Mike, Mike get it for me? You seem to have me in quite a pickle, Mike. So I'll just set this monster face down and end my turn. And I'm just getting started. Let's, Let's taunt, taunt him, him a bit. bit. What's the matter, Mike? Don't tell me you're afraid of a measly face down. I ain't gonna fall for the same trick twice, Santa. Oh, I see. That is indeed a shame. I guess the rumors about you being a bitch then were true. Hold the fuck up. What'd you just call me? Oh, nothing. Just rumors going around that the great Mike Tyson is, well, a bitch. Okay, Santa, you just crossed a line that should never be fucking crossed, so I hope you're ready for the consequences. Looks, Looks like, like that, that did, did the, the trick. trick. I'm summoning Battling Boxer Switch Hitter, and with his special ability, I can bring back my Boxing Spyro. Now I'm overlaying my Switch Hitter with my Spyro. I XC summon Battling Boxer Lead Yo. Let's fuck him up. First, my Captain Roland attacks your snowboy. Now my lead yoke attacks your face down. Why, thank you, Mike, as you've just destroyed my deep diver, triggering its special ability that allows me to place any card I want at the top of my deck. Nothing is gonna save you from this ass beating, so draw your card. Don't mind if I do. Just, just the card I was, I was hoping, hoping to see. see. All right, Mike. You asked for it, so here it comes. Enough with the suspense and play your card already. Very well. First, I activate the field spell mausoleum of the Emperor. 
And with this jolly spell, I can now pay in life points the amount of tributes I would need to summon a powerful monster times a thousand. But before we get to that, I'm activating Water Hammer. Now, since I control no monsters, I can special summon another Samurai of the Ice Barrier. Now I'll be sacrificing two tributes worth of life points in order to summon my most trusted servant, White Knight Dragon. Let us battle! White Knight Dragon, attack Captain Roland! Sorry to burst your bubble, Santa, but you've triggered my battle in Boxer Veil's effect, allowing me to special summon it and regain the life points I just lost. And since you also just destroyed my Captain Roland, I can use its effect to boost my monster's attack by 500. Well played, Mike. Although I'm curious to see how you intend to deal with my ferocious winter beast. Watch and find out. Your shiny blue lizard ain't got shit on me, Santa. So watch as I show you why I was the youngest heavyweight champ in history. That certainly was an impressive feat, Mike. Yeah, I know. Almost as impressive as Buster Douglas knocking you flat on your ass in the greatest upset in boxing history. Oh, you son of a bitch. The truth hurts now, doesn't it, Mike? Not as much as your ass is gonna be hurting when I'm done fucking you raw. I beg your pardon? It's time to bring the thunder as I activate Rageki. <laughs> This will wipe out every monster on your field. You had such a spell in your deck? Yeah, not talking so big now, are we, Santa? But I'm not done with your fat ass just yet. What? Because now I'm activating the effect of Battling Boxer Shadow in my hand, allowing me to detach an overlay unit from my lead yoke in order to special summon him. And since lead yoke lost the material, it gains 800 attack. Now for the finale, I'm activating Battling Boxing Spirit, which lets me send the top card of my deck to the grave in order to bring back my switch hitter. Wait, Mike, I, I might have gotten a tad bit carried away. I am overlaying my three Battling Boxers in order to summon the new heavyweight champ of the world. I see summon number 105, Battling Boxer Star Cestus. Time for the knockout. I hope you got the lube ready, Santa, cause me and my boys are going in. Oh dear God. First the initial penetration. And now for the money shot. Wait, Mike. Begging won't save you now. But think about the children watching. Do you really want them to see Santa Claus in this state? Fuck them kids. They're gonna watch me take you down one way or another. No! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Tyson has claimed victory in our special Christmas duel. Now, was that a holiday treat or what? Definitely, Tom. Those two really put on one hell of a show for both us and our viewers. You took the words right out of my mouth, JB. I mean, that's not saying much since you never close it. Touché. It doesn't change the fact that that was a great duel by Santa and Mike. Absolutely. It was great to see Santa utilizing a winter-themed deck despite the impracticability of those cards. I ain't gonna lie, Santa's deck was some hot trash, but I respect his dedication to the roleplay. Plus, he did hang on there for quite a bit. I loved that Mike was using the Battlin' Boxing archetype as they're one of my favorites from back in the day. The duel definitely gave off some old-school vibes from both players, which I'm sure our OG fans appreciated. Honestly, it felt like Mike never lost control of the duel even when Santa was talking mad shit. For sure. Even when Santa summoned his White Knight Dragon, I still believed Mike could win it with his classic knockout punch. And what a marvelous punch it was for Mike who summoned his own ace monster, Battlin' Boxer Star Cestus, to pair with his lead yoke to finish Santa off. Don't forget that clutch Rageki play that sealed the jolly old bastard's fate. I'm so glad Konami took it off the ban list. I love seeing it in action. As did I. Now then, let's hear some words from our victor. I'm ecstatic, you know? I came here to duel, and I did just that. Santa thought he could call me a bitch and get away with it, but I showed him because I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious, and the most ruthless duelist there has ever been. Uh -huh. Nobody could stop me. Nobody. My style is impetuous. That's right. My defense is impregnable. Preach. And I'm just ferocious. Get him. I want to eat his fucking children. I... I think I just got goosebumps. Yes, you can just feel Mike's passion and soul for dueling and his threat to eat Santa's children. Now bring me that robot that stole my spot. I want his ass next. Uh, hold on, Mike. 
How you'll fit back into the tournament has yet to be officially decided, so you'll have to wait on that. Well, y'all best hurry up, because I got all this raw energy flowing in me that's waiting to be unleashed. Of course. Now let us hear some words from Santa after his defeat. Even though I may have lost, I had a jolly old time dueling Mike. He certainly lives up to his reputation. I must also apologize if I seemed a bit naughty during our duel. Even Santa gets a bit competitive sometimes, but all in good fun, of course. Apology not accepted, bitch. Oh. Well then, in the spirit of Christmas, go f*** yourself, Mike. You know what, Santa? Stay right there, I've got a present for you. Uh, what's he mean by that? You needn't worry. I'm sure he's just being dramatic. Now go on. Let's wrap up this jolly show. Well, all right then. Thank you all for joining us for this special Christmas episode of the Celebrity World Championship. Kermit, Santa, we appreciate you both joining us. But of course. It was a blast being here. Hey, Kermit, you down to come chill at the crib? I got the freshest turkey straight out of the oven waiting. You know it, JB. Have fun, you two. Well, that wraps up our show, folks. Do you mind taking us out, Santa? I'd love to. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Have a very Merry Christmas, and see you next year. Oof. Hope you liked your present, Santa. Oh, I almost forgot. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good fight.